I almost forgot. Um, stay tuned after this video if you would like to see a teeny tiny little slice of the performances I did today. Thank you. Hey everyone, Honey here. Um, oops, sorry, a little low. Um, sorry it's been a little while since uh, I've made a video. I just started school this week, so I've been really busy and I'm back to work and I'm doing all that fun stuff and um, this weekend uh, it was really busy for me. Obviously, you can tell I'm wearing a lot of makeup on my face, and that's because I had a performance today. Um, I perform with um, with a Middle East ensemble, and so I do, you know, folk dances and belly dances and all that fun stuff. And um, we had a big event, so I'm wearing a lot of makeup. The scenery is different because my room's a mess, and I don't feel like cleaning it. I was trying to think of something that I could talk about, um, and. Since I actually also I just had to go to a doctor's appointment, um, I figured, hey, why not talk about what I did? Um, so basically what I did was I just went and got my birth control filled. It wasn't like a super big deal or anything like that. But um, I have tried like every birth control in the book and I thought maybe, hey, I give a little bit of my experience. So I first started off by um, taking the pill and you know the pills okay the pill you know it's a good old pill everybody's taking the pill at some point um, I guess there's what 99% of women have taken birth control or used some form of contraceptive at some point in their life I was not the best at taking it because I was really young and I wasn't that responsible yet so I missed days a lot and then you have to like double up and do all sorts of crazy stuff so of course when I became of mature age I guess to put it politely um, I did go back on birth control and I used I started using the NuvaRing like right when it first came out um, like within the first year that it was out in the US and I was on it for I want to say like five or six years something like that um, I just stopped taking it about a year ago and that was by far my favorite birth control ever and to women who get like weirded out with themselves um, you know I mean everybody's different and the if you don't know what the NuvaRing is it's like it looks like a hair tie but it's like plastic and it's like a tube and it has hormones in it and what you do is it's flexible and you can maneuver it and you put it up your you know you know what to women who are nervous about that or maybe hesitate just remember it's your body it's you um, it's clean it's not dirty uh, it's really not a big deal and it doesn't feel weird I mean you should know yourself really um, if if you want to have sex with anybody at all you should know yourself pretty well first that's all I'm saying um, there's my public service announcement about human sexuality woo she just saw a bird she's burying okay unfortunately the reason why I did have to stop taking it um, was this is gonna sound weird but it pinched like it maneuvered its way between um, you know like coming out and my pants and it was all sorts of mess down there it was painful uh, I don't know why all of a sudden like the last couple months that I was taking it, it started decided to start doing that maybe I mean I started to change and it wasn't quite working right I mean I don't know but um, I really liked it. It had no side effects. Um, I didn't really gain any weight. I didn't feel nauseous, no headaches, no nothing. I felt really great. I felt happy. It was, I mean, what more can I say? I just loved it. I looked into something that was possibly a little bit more permanent um, and yet still temporary without getting like an IUD or anything because the thought of getting an IUD kind of sort of freaks me out a little bit because <laughs> you, you can't just like take it out if you're having a bad day or something. The, the next thing that I did was I did start taking the shot, which is um, you get a shot every three months, either in your arm or in your hip, um, and that is the Depo Provera, and it was great, like, the first couple months. I did give it the full six months, like they say, to make sure that, you know, you give, like, typical birth control pills about three months, um, and NuvaRing and the patch and stuff. You give it about three months to really work with your body's chemistry and see how it reacts. Um, and then with the depot, they say give it six months to see how everything works out. 
Now I did like it for the first couple months. I felt really good. I didn't, I, according to the doctor, I didn't gain any weight, but I, like, st towards the last part of those six months, like, the last three months, I felt like a fat cow. Like, I just didn't feel good. I just felt, mmm kind of bloaty, <laughs> I mean, if that makes sense, and the thing that the depo shot is, is it's, it's a, it's a hormone that is mimicking your own levels of progesterone, which is a hormone women produce. Uh, progesterone is the hormone that gets produced in, like, the last half of a woman's cycle, like, right before she's going to start her period after ovulation. Um, I'm assuming everybody knows that there's like a 28 day cycle and 14 is the ovulation. I'm assuming everybody knows that and if not, um, let me know and I can help you figure that out. Leading up to ovulation, what estrogen does is it gets you all, you know, happy and energetic and spunky. I'm trying to cram a lot of information into this short video, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Then progesterone kind of does the opposite. It's after you've ovulated, your progesterone kicks in and it, what, what it does is mostly just like maintenance. Make sure everything is real well maintained in the uterus and everything is you know nice and padded and fluffy for that little embryo to implant if you got pregnant. But it makes um, everything a little bit more oily. A lot of women will sometimes get like acne right before their periods because of all that progesterone kind of makes you a little, just a little bit more oily or your hair. And it makes you just kind of like a little bit more like bogged down. Maybe another reason why women have that, you know, kind of like PMS-y feeling, like bloated and you're just like uh, cranky pants. So in Depo, the progesterone is mimicked, so it's basically your body's like that all the time. Like you get like one massive injection three every three months, uh, and it's actually the most accurate form of birth control that you can use. You will not get pregnant. I, you will not get pregnant if you go in every three months on time and get it done. You will not get pregnant. It has a series of events. It prevents the uterine lining from growing, but a big, huge contributor of this and also the mini pill is progestin only too. Um, they like, what they're really good at is um, the cervical mucus. That's what plugs the, plugs the cervix. They make it really thick and gooey and hard for sperm to penetrate. So that's one of the main reasons that they work so well is that you know, they do prevent you from ovulating and they do prevent your uterus from even growing that lining, but the sperm can't even get there in the first place. The birth control pill doesn't so much do that very much, whereas they, they literally, it masks your body's chemistry so that your body can't tell when it's supposed to ovulate, so it doesn't ovulate. That's how the pill works. Um, and the ring and the patch, which is all that. It's estrogen and progesterone. In one. I didn't feel very good on depot after a while. Um, it was really nice though. I did not have a period forever and it was like fabulous. But like I said, I was always really oily, like my face, my hair. I was so tired all the time. I could not keep my eyes open. Like I was literally so tired. I was just like lazy and I was like, I don't feel like doing anything. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. It was awful. I did not have any energy. Um, like I said, I didn't gain weight, but I just felt fat, and I think that was just like water weight or something, um, but I technically didn't gain weight according to the scale, so I don't really know how that works. And I did a lot of research, and this technically isn't a symptom, but I did feel like crazy depo rage, which is like kind of what they call it, is I was angry all the time. Like the tiniest little thing would set me off. Like I couldn't get a snarl out of my hair, and I would be fuming, like steam coming out of my ears. Like I'd be like ready to punch somebody out. After my six months was over, I went back to my doctor. I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I want to kill somebody, and I'm fat, and I'm lazy, and I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> so um, I didn't want to take the pill because I'm really bad at, you know, remembering, and I'll forget, and it's just like, oh, such a mess. So I was like, okay, I want to do something like the new ring, but I don't want to do the new ring, so what do we got here? And so they suggested the patch, which I was really nervous about because, you know, all of those commercials that say, oh, the patch kills women. But um, I'm not a smoker and I'm not over 35, so that pretty much is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. So I just got my package. This is, I've been taking, I just finished my third month, so I'm about to go on month four tomorrow. And this is what the package looks like. Um... And it's just this tiny little, I mean, it's not really tiny, but 
Um, I, so far, I've loved the, the patch, by the way. Oh my god, though. Let me tell you, the, the first three months, I don't know if, again, this might just be me, but I went up two cup sizes with the, the patch. And, I mean, I don't know, I've never had that happen to me before in any other birth control, and I know it's not just weight gain, because I still fit in all my jeans just fine. So, um, if women, you're looking for a way to <laughs> increase your cup size, you might want to go in the batch. Um, so this is kind of, they come in these little pouches, right? Like this. This is about the size of it. Maybe if you just cut off like these edges, you know, it's maybe about that big. Um, it also comes with a snazzy little reminder so you can put these you know, on your patches and in your calendar, and I think this was really cool. I'm like a really big organizing freak, so I, I was really happy when I saw this. This is really cool. It is flesh tone, which is nice, but the my one complaint is that what about darker skinned women? Uh, because this is my flesh tone. This is like more pink, you know, it's real pale. But what about, you know, darker skinned women or, you know, ethnic women? This is obvious. So. If there's one thing that I think they could change is do something like they do with the non-smoking patch where they make it actually clear, and that would be awesome, but they don't. They make it for white women. Don't put it on in the same spot every time because they do not last and they hurt and your skin gets irritated. The thing that I find most helpful with this is that I, I exfoliate really well in the spot that I'm going to put it in and then I put astringent or like some type of like rubbing alcohol or cleanser with a, like a cotton pad over the spot that I'm going to put it in I let it dry for a little bit and then I stick this on. This thing will stick for a long time. Make sure you stretch the skin out a little bit so if you're like moving around and stuff it doesn't like rip because this stuff is sticky. Even a full seven days after I've had this on and I need to take it off, it hurts. It is really painful. I actually make my boyfriend do it. Birth control should be available to any woman no matter where she is, who she is, what color her skin is. Any, any, if she wants birth control, she should be given birth control and that, I think that is fair. You're young, if you're in high school, if you're in college and you're not ready to have kids yet, I mean please, 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 please think about it at least. Um, it's really quite, <laughs> quite a bit less expensive than having a kid, I'll tell you that. And the thought of having an abortion can upset a lot of people regardless of what you believe in. If you do believe in it, if you don't, it, it's not an easy situation to come upon. So, um, just really think about it. It's preventative care. Remember that. It's preventative. You're doing something for the good of yourself and for the good of possibly somebody else. Boyfriends, thank your girlfriends if they go on birth control because sometimes, you know, like me, it takes a while to find out what really sticks with you and you need to be patient with them. It's it's not easy putting all these crazy hormones in your body and not knowing how or what is going to ha like happen or what's how you're going to react and what's going on. I mean, it's scary and sometimes we're total bitches and that's not our fault. You know, we just, just give us a break, okay? Every time a girl has to get a shot in the butt or get her skin ripped off by a patch or basically sacrifices herself to some type of hormone, she should be given chocolate. Let me say that again. She should be given chocolate. If you have any other questions about birth control, you should let me know and I will answer to the best of my ability. Like I said, not a doctor, not a nurse, not a professional of any kind. This is all experience. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you guys possibly next week. I'll try to do one video a week. I hope if I have enough time. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.